There is a new dimension of faith that is being released upon the earth right now. This new dimension of faith is not for everyone. It's not for the person that's just coming to church for the sake of coming to church. It's not just for the lukewarm Christian. This new dimension of faith that's being released is only for the remnant. So I'm, not, I'm only addressing the remnant today. Uh, and you will see where we're going with this. So this is the year of the fulfillment of your faith. This is what will be the criteria for the end time move of God. Jesus said, I'm going to come to this earth and I'm, going to, I'm really going to look for people who's got faith. Because a lot of our faith has been depleted. A lot of circumstances has come and we've lost our faith. We've lost our hope. We've lost our ability to believe for big things again. But there is a remnant that's going to stand up in this end time move of God. The remnant comes after great shaking taking place. Haggai chapter 2, verse number 6 to verse number 9. Let's read this together. For thus saith the Lord of hosts once more, it is a little while, I will shake heaven and earth, the sea and the dry land. How many of you have seen this now? The nature is reacting. We've seen the biggest hurricanes, the biggest tsunamis, the biggest earthquakes, the biggest nature disasters, fires, winds, cold. Everything is reaching its peak. It's very big at the moment what's happening. And that's because God is shaking the earth. And I will shake the nations. How many of you can see that? They shall come to, des to des the desire of all nations. And I will fill this temple with glory. I thank God for all the shakings. Because the glory comes. No shaking, no glory. Dead church, dead nothing. You need a shaking sometimes. Says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine. The gold is mine. Says the Lord of hosts. The glory of this latter temple shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. How many of you believe that with me here? Yes. Now, what is God doing on this earth at the moment? He is causing a shaking all over the world. He is causing a shaking that's going to cause people to either lose their faith or get faith back in their heart. God is causing a shaking. There is a reason for shakings. Because the silver is mine. He says the gold is mine. The nations will come. He says the glory will come. It will be in a greater manifestation. But it only happens after this shaking. The purpose of the shaking is to know what is of God and what is not of God. So if your church, and for those of you watching online, if your church is being shaken, it's that God wants to see... If the church is built upon him or upon personalities, character of people, characteristics or the, the manifestations of men rather than of God. If your business is shaken, it's because God is shaking. He wants to see what is of him and what is not of him. Your marriage being shaken, God is shaking your marriage to see what is of him and what is not of him. That which is of God shall stand. That which is not of God shall fall away. And that's why you see only those that remain are the remnant. In your business, your business being shaken. Contracts are, are falling away. Employees are walking. God is just shaking a little bit. Because that what is rem or those that remain are the remnant that will carry the next move of God in your business. A church that is shaken, the people go. Those that remain are the remnant. Say this with me, I'm part of the remnant. Say it, say it. I'm part of the remnant. I survived the shakings. Now listen, write this down. After the shaking, God brings three things to light. Number one, His glory. Everything shaking or that's being um, tested and proved is to see what is of God and what is not of God and to get 
God or to give God all the glory for that. So you must understand, every shaking is to release a greater measure of glory. Every time there's a shaking in your marriage, in your business, in your church, after that shaking, there is a greater glory. The first manifestation that will take place after a shaking. The second one is that there will always be a new economy released. A new economy. New dimensions will come. New economy in your, in your business, in your finances. And lastly, a remnant will remain. Now for those of you who are new, what is a remnant? A remnant, this is what it means. It's chosen. Say chosen. It's a survivor. It's a residue. I like this one. It's a supernatural breed. So when we say remnant, it's like let's say a tsunami would come and hit Cape Town for instance. And the people that survived, that remained, they are the remnant. Shaking comes in all forms. Wars come. And the people that survive, they are the remnant. They are a remnant of cultures, remnant of people. And they have taken these things further. There is a remnant in the church today. There are the ten virgins. Five had oil. Five had no oil. Let, hear me out today. You must hear what, a, what the apostle is saying. To you. There is a remnant in the church. The church looks the same. They sing the same songs. They do the same stuff. But then there is the church that has the oil. They don't shut the Holy Ghost up in a room somewhere. They don't plan Him. They don't manipulate Him. They don't put Him in a box. I did not come up here and receive an offering this morning because I've got 10 minutes for that. The Holy Ghost moved for 20 minutes. I did not shut him down. I did not close him down because it's his church, not my church. It's his church and he must move. And then there's the remnant that says, that is who we are. We've got the oil. When the bride comes, we will have the oil. When the bride comes, when Jesus comes, he's going to look for the bride that has the oil. Not the ones that are sleeping and, and, and they look like the church, but they're not the church. And you will see the distinct separation in the end times. Many mega churches will move into a seeker sensitive church. And then there will be the five virgins that will say, We are the remnant. We are not conformed to the world system. We're not bringing in the world system. We are chosen of God. We have survived the attack. Let me tell you this, my, my dear friends, family. I've had attacks upon attacks. I've had relationships that have gone astray just because I believe in the supernatural power of God. Mega churches in this nation have told me that supernatural is not for everyone. I'm thinking, okay, it's fine, I, whatever. But the Bible I'm reading from Genesis 1 verse 1, in the beginning God created that supernatural until He comes again in Revelation. That is supernatural. My whole Bible is supernatural. How can it not be for everybody? Yes, you cannot build a church just on signs and wonders. I cannot build this church just on the manifestations of. That's not, that's not, you need to have the word. That's why Sunday mornings we press in for the word. Sunday nights we have the move of the Holy Ghost. But we move in the spirit and in the word. We need to grow the whole time. And the remnant will understand this balance in the end times. So let me ask you this. If you've been shaken 2018, or let's say the past decade. How many of you have been shaken? Let me just see that. So I'm speaking to the remnant this morning. How many of you have been processed? God. Processing me here. On, 20, on, on the 31st of December 2017, I said one of the manifestations will be in 2019 you're going to be processed. One of the characteristics. I've been processed, my man. You've been processed. We've been through hell and high waters. But guess what? The remnant survived. I'm still standing. You're still standing. How many of you have been accused? Four? Okay. 
How many of you have been criticized? Rejected? How many of your faith has been shaken? My gosh. My, my faith has been shaken. Lord, I'm praying for this and nothing's happening. My faith. My faith in God. My faith in, in prayer. My faith in the Word. My faith in people. My faith in everything has been shaken to the core. How many of your marriages has been shaken? We've been shaken all over. How many of your finances has been shaken? Yeah. Livy, come get ready. Son, get Livy. Listen, I want you to understand. If you've been shaken, rejected, accused, stirred up, shaken in your faith, marriage has been shaken, Absalom's have to tried to split the church, and you are still standing... You are part of the remnant and part of the end time move of the Holy Ghost. Come on, raise your right hand like this.